Hey, what's up guys? Arcade Matt. Today we're going to be doing a very neat challenge on the SpongeBob Coin Pusher. We're going to see how many tickets I can win with 999 credits. Alright guys, check it out. Look at this, 999 plays exactly here on Spongebob. This is going to be an interesting video. So I'm going to go through all 999 and then uh, I'm going to redeem for a prize at the end. So stay tuned to the end guys to see what I get. Oh my lord, here we go. So we're going to count at the end, see how many I have uh, as far as tickets. Because you do get tickets for each token knocked off, which is really nice. So. Take a guess in the comments, guys. How many tickets do you think I'm gonna win in this video? Just for tokens knocked off. So, usually get a lot. Even for like, when I do like, five swipes, you get 48 plays. Sometimes you get a couple hundred, so you gotta keep that in mind here. Hopefully we'll get some cards too. Uh, I may just redeem the cards, because they are worth like 50 tickets each, I believe. So, I doubt we're gonna get a full set, but We'll redeem them just to count them towards our uh, ticket value in this video. Wow, that was a lot. Nice. As you can see, it adds them right to your card. So that'll accumulate throughout this whole video here, guys. All right, here we go. We only have 983 freaking plays to go. Holy moly. So, man, this one's like timing's off. All right, I got to go earlier. I'm missing this pineapple here. There we go. There we go. Token. Oh, we got the bonus spins. We got the bonus spins. 15. Yes. Ooh, that's rare. That usually never hits. Look at that, guys. 15 of them back there. That'll give a real look. I give a really good push for a lot of those. Nice. Still 972 to go. Holy moly. It'll be a miracle if this doesn't error out this entire video. It would be an absolute miracle. Hopefully, I don't jam the coin thing. This side's usually pretty good here, zone 28. They usually upkeep them pretty well. I've got credits. We don't want credits here, man. So we are gonna actually be playing over a thousand because we are, um, we're gonna be getting some free credits here, guys. So just keep that in mind. But we started with 999s, which is a pretty cool number to see here on SpongeBob. I know you don't see that pretty often. We got four on the bonus up there. All right, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of rapid fire here. Just try to get hit every single pineapple. Let's see if we can just get those uh, bonuses. Maybe we'll get a car drop or two, or three or four. A car drop two or three or four. Ooh, that was a lot of. We did get a card. Oh, we got eight. This side, they must have fixed that because it wasn't wasn't hitting eight and fifteen here for a while. It's kind of nice. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy that second angle I got on my GoPro. I thought that was a pretty good idea. So, not sure how I'm gonna do it in editing. I may overlay one over the other, like in a corner or something, so we'll see. Let me know what you guys think of that. That way we get all the action, baby. <clears throat> so, uh, SpongeBob Coin Pusher, the rare card is Gary, the little snail there. He's the hard to get one. You collect the whole set here at Zone 28, you get 2,500 tickets. I do have another video uh, prior to this one where I did do that. I collected them, so make sure you guys check that out. Come on, Gary. Aw, oh, we got Sandy the Goober. All right. I ain't got Sandy. Got the, eh, looks like four on the bonus. 922 left, guys. We're going to be here a while. Oh, nice push. We are at... 400 uh, over 420 on the just from tokens knocked over. That's not counting our cards that we got. That's crazy. So yeah, card at the counter gets you 50 tickets. There they are. And if we happen to get any tokens, uh, 
They'll give us five free shots, but I'll probably just keep them. I'm not gonna count that towards. We got enough credits as it is here. So, all right, there we go. So I like this uh, pusher a little bit better than Wizard of Oz, simply because you do get rewarded for tokens over. It's a little more incentive to knock them over. And there's a little bit of skill at aiming it through that pineapple. Whereas Wizard of Oz, I feel like it's just hold the trigger, rapid fire, and that's it, you know. Now the Willy Wonka, I like. I, I definitely like. It's definitely one of Elot's more newer pushers that I really enjoy. So we got the bonus tokens up there again. And we're going to drop below 900 here. 15, look at that, guys. Oh, nice. Sick. Those might go. There's a whole bunch there. That's pretty cool. So we're at 900 exactly, guys. That's crazy. Good Lord. So that took about five minutes to go through 100. This may take almost an hour here, guys. We're gone. And there you go. There you go. This is going to happen, I feel like, a lot in this video. All right, guys. The awesome crew at Zone 28 here. Watch it air out. Like, nah, I think Greg went in and kind of... There were a couple tokens, I think, that were jammed. So hopefully we'll be able to finish this video here, guys. They are the best here. They are amazeballs. The Zone 28 crew, shout out to them. I'm going to try and go easy at least one at a time. I'm not going to... Of course, I did that here before, and it didn't jam at all. So We'll see here, guys. So we're still counting up here. Actually, there's uh, it still saved my accumulating tickets. Uh, 5.43, so we're still going here, guys. As you can see, it's counting them up. Counting them up. Token. Ooh, it hits. See, you got, you've got to have it in, hitting 8 and 15 now. It wasn't doing that before, Greg. Really? I never changed it. I know ours always hit. Maybe it was that side that wasn't hitting. Look, 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 look. Because I know yours always did. Ooh, look at that one, guys. Teeter in that card. That's an extra 50 tickets right there. There's two tokens on top of that. Look. Wow, look at that. That is weird. Two tokens on top. And they're like teetering, guys. Oh, nice. That was awesome. Four ticket. I may not even make pinball tonight. Kick back my weekly tournament. I'm going to try. But we got to get this video, man. This is awesome. Never been done before. 990. Well, like I said, guys, over 999 because we're getting free plays. See, we just got credits there, but we st at least we started with that. So we'll be able to see at the end of this video, guys, how much tickets we've got for that many swipes. So very cool, man. I'm here on Zone 20 on half day. They have half days on Wednesdays, guys. So it's a really good deal. And, and their half days are nice because. Literally all of their games are half off. It's not just like some ticket games only or whatever, these weird stipulations. There's li like you can play Keymaster for 50 cents instead of a buck a play. So it's definitely a good deal to come on a Wednesday. Oh, look at all those. That was so satisfying. Wow. That's going to jam that thing probably. <laughs> oh my God, look, it's like spitting them out. <coughs> wow. Can we go below 800? 800. Come on, baby. All right, we're still going here, guys. Soaking. I might purposely miss the pineapple on a couple, because sometimes it'll give you a nice bounce to the right side. We got uh, Squidward over there. So we got a SpongeBob that's face down and a Squidward on there. Not too many cards in the play field, but we still have a lot of... We're at 800, guys. Look. We still have a lot of plays left, so hopefully we'll get some more card drops. <laughs> and, uh... It's the same one. I've got credits. I don't want credits. <gasps> Excuse me. Sorry, burping. I just had pizza. The Zone 20 pizza is amazing, guys. Get in there. 
Look at this. We're over a thousand tickets just from Coint Tokens over, guys, so far. And we just hit eight more bonus spin, uh, tokens. It's crazy. Again, that's why I like this one. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you like SpongeBob or Wizard of Oz better? I prefer SpongeBob because of the fact that you do get tickets for tokens over. Because, like, you could play Wizard of Oz, for example, and Rapid Fire, a crap ton, and you could maybe get, like, a couple red chips. They're worth, like, 50 usually at the arcade. And I don't think that equates to as much as the silver tokens over in this game. 15! Shabang! All right, seven, seven, seven. Look at that. That's what you want to see at the casino on the slot machine. All right, let's keep going here. Keep timing them through. I don't want credits. We got enough credits, SpongeBob. Can you not see this? We got way too many credits here, man. At least they give you these nice chairs here. It's kind of cool. Ooh, we got a 15 there. Look at that. Oh, we're getting those two, definitely. It would be nice if we can get a car drop, and it would be nice if it was Gary. Ooh, car drop, and it's freaking Sandy. We don't need her. <laughs> the goober. Do not need her. We do not need her, guys. I redeemed a, uh, Gary before in my previous video, so I don't think I have any left for Zone 28. But... I didn't want to bring any outside cards in. Oh, we got eight on that one. I didn't want to bring any outside cards in because I just want to see how much I can get from scratch here. So, as far as tickets. We got another uh, SpongeBob card. That's kind of cool. If we got a whole set, that'd be neat, but I don't think that's going to happen. We definitely need a Gary to drop, and Lord only knows where he's at, the goober. Hiding in that card drop thing somewhere. Oh, look at that, man. Eight, there we go. Not bad. Not bad, man. Bad man. I've got credits. Oh, nice push. Nice push, Matt. Nice push, matey. Token, token. That was like a double token. I'd never heard that before. He's SpongeBob, man. He's, uh, I think he's turning cuckoo. All right. Boy, he's going to go. Look. Look at that teeter. If that coin wasn't on there, guys, he would tip. That's insane. Look at that. Come on, you, you goober. I've got credits. We're going to leave it on him because he's going to go. You've got credits. It should say, you've got mail. Come on, Squidward. You know you want to fall there, you goober. Get over there. Dude, who remembers that you've got mail, man? Dude, the days of AOL Instant Messenger, those were the internet days, man. That were the days, man. That was good times. Such simple times back then. All right, we're trying to get, uh, come on, man. Come on, Squidward, you goober. Oh, we got a card drop, and it's another one of Squidward. We don't, how many Squidwards do we need? One's enough, man. We're at 700, guys. And, uh... Nice, a little bit of rapid fire there. We got him off, so over the edge, and let's see here. Now we're just kind of going for tokens now at this point. We had that nice bunch over there, so that was kind of nice. So we'll see uh, what we can keep doing here, guys. I'm gonna try to work out another card drop, and hopefully we get a uh, hopefully we get a Gary. Because with all these, we may have, these were ones from before, so I'm just going to leave those in there. We may be close to an entire set minus Gary, so this this will be interesting. It's definitely working better than it was, holy moly. At least we went through a hundred without it jamming. A hundred. 
a nerd. Ooh, 666 call Zach Bagans for that one. <laughs> Shout out to him. Oh man, that'd be hilarious if he watched these videos on his road trips to like his next lockdown. I'd be like, guys, we gotta watch the new arcade map video. I'd be like, holy crap. I'd be fanboying all over the place. All right, we're still going here, guys. And a lot of tickets. Look at this. We're almost at 2,000 tickets just from the silver tokens. That's crazy, guys. <clears throat> crazy, crazy. I don't want credits. I want a card drop would be nice. Credits? No. No, 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 no credit. I no want credit. Token! Oh, man. I remember when this first came out. This has been out for a long time, SpongeBob. Definitely a good amount of years. I can't remember exactly which year it came out, but a lot of arcades still have it. It is a really good coin pusher when it doesn't jam. <laughs> it definitely helps if you have the uh, nickel tokens, though. All right, we got Patrick. At least it's somebody different. I don't know if he fell before. He might have. So we're just gonna keep going here. This is gonna be stuck in your head all day long, guys. All day long. I don't want credits. Stop it. I'm like mad I'm getting free credits. I do not need free credits, SpongeBob, so please stop giving them to me, all right? See, the cards tend on this one, they tend to go uh, in the middle. If they're on the right, I te they tend to just really not follow. We got lucky there after a bunch of plays, so it takes a long time to get cards that are on the right. Because most of the tokens, when they come out of the bonus thing there, they go towards the left, so that's why they push more. So... All right, we're almost at 600 here, guys. All right, hey, I'm gonna create a new file on my camera. All right, here we go, 600 left, guys. Let's keep them going here. So, uh, Animira actually came out with some recent uh, coin pushers uh, that I, I haven't seen any personally in the arcades yet. Uh, they were just revealed last year at IAPA. They had a really neat WWE wrestler one. It wasn't. It was a. It was almost like a one of those Japanese pachinko machines that had that silver ball and it went down. It was a really cool game, really fun game too. But it was like a coin pusher as well. But it had this really neat like bonus round and the way you get cards and I loved it. So hopefully some arcades soon will start getting that. Wow, that was a lot over. And keep in mind, guys, three tickets for each little silver token over. Might not sound like a lot, but it definitely adds up. So wow, look at that, dude. It was like a gajillion. <laughs> okay, so we got maximum payout on this, meaning, so it was over 2,000. So this is, we got 2,282. So Greg basically just has to, the manager has to come and swipe their card here at Zone, because if it pays a certain amount of tickets on a game, it'll, it'll, you need like approval. So that's, that's all that is. I'm still getting the tickets, so they'll just have to swipe. So I had 2,000 there. So whatever this number is, is plus 2,000 from now on. So we're going to keep going here, guys. And so I'm going to redeem for a prize at the end of this video here at Zone. We should be able to get something really decent with this. I mean, <clears throat> that's not uh, not too shabby of an amount of tickets here we're getting. I've got credits. There they are going down the goobers. Counting them down. We are at 400. Look at us. Shabang. 399. Nice. So we're a little more than halfway through. We got another Patrick on the field. Uh, Sandy is moving a little bit closer here on the left. Probably get her. No problem. These Patricks have not moved off the uh, tray though, which is a little strange. 
Uh, yeah, sometimes they stay on there a long time, it, especially like if you bury tokens under them, then it then it really like that one there. I'm surprised is still on there, but. Uh, that one there, see, it's just going to keep getting pushed backwards. And you'll just get a couple tokens that land on it, weighs it down, so that's all right. We're still getting them tickets, man. Look at this. So we got 3,053 so far. Excuse uh, me. Oh, that was satisfying there, man. That was nice. This game would look really cool with like blue LEDs or something instead of the white. If I had one, that's what I would probably do with it. I'd probably mod it. This would be a cool coin pusher to own. Let me know in the comments, guys. If you had, you were allowed one coin pusher to own for free, what would you pick? You can pick anything. You can pick this, you can pick Willy Wonka, Wizard of Oz. Anything you want. Even a real money one. That I play sometimes downtown. I'd probably pick that, because that that's a that's like the classic. Cause that one actually gives you the stuff back and you can put like little prizes in there. <clears throat> I actually really like no the one I would get is that one that I played that has the bill acceptor built in. So what it does is it you put in money to, like to get changed and it just recycles the quarters that it gets, which I thought was ingenious. I wouldn't mind owning one of those at all. So we're down to 344, guys. Check it out. We're, we're getting down there, folks. Yeah, I just kind of had this idea. I'm like, this would be a neat little challenge. Thank God they got it working. <laughs> I almost didn't. I almost was not able to make this video, guys. Because little goober kept jamming over here. 333. Three, three. Oh, getting there, man. I haven't checked out Zone 28's prizes lately, so I'm not really sure what they have. Usually they get a new stuff very frequently, so I think we'll be able to get something decent here. And then we will redeem the cards that we win down there. And then these are, uh, I had one some earlier in my pocket, so we'll redeem those uh, as, long, as well with the silver t um, tokens that got paid. I haven't gotten any silver. Sometimes you get silver tokens in the tray there. Haven't gotten any yet. You're not supposed to get them. Sometimes they come down by accident and they're like wedged in between the cards there that drop, but they're there just in case. And then here you get credits. Come on, be a, ah, oh man. We got uh, Sheldon the goober. You'll get credits points if you uh, cycle them back into the game. Ah, oh, man, no Gary though, man. He's nowhere in sight. Nowhere in sight. <laughs> Token! Well, that's a good push there. Oh, that was a good fall over there. Whoa, baby. Baby. Token. Getting them through that pineapple here. There we go. I'm missing it now. <laughs> yeah, some of the, these uh, Zone 28 actually got their own silver tokens, so they're they're a little bit thinner than the ones that are normally in this. So it's, they go down at different speeds in this. But my th my general th timing to get it through the pineapple most of the time is when the pineapple is right at the edge of that silver thing in the back. So now. See, that got it through, so now. See, that got it through again, so now. Now that one missed. Some, but see, it, it all depends. Sometimes it, it, the token will lag up. More times than not, you'll get it, so now. Yeah, that one hit it, so now. Yeah, that one's good. That one got a good speed, so now. And now. Yeah, see, it, it, that's a good uh, strike point for this game. Uh, it depends on when you're playing. Depends on the arcade, depends on the type of tokens that are in there. Ooh, that was a good fall. Woohoo! Look at this, guys. Wowzers. So we are at 3,000, almost 3,600. That's why I kind of like this game, because it has a, there is skill and a strike point involved in hitting that pineapple. The only thing, the only 
thing I wish they would have on this is a ticket bonus up here. I think that would have been a cool thing to add. Because, like, Willy Wonka has that. Where you get, if you spin that wheel, it'll just give you tickets right to the card. I kind of wish this did that. That would be cool. Well, we got four there on the bonus tokens. Yeah, that would have been a cool idea. Or maybe have, like, a separate wheel that said, like, have it on here. If you hit it, spin wheel, and then it gives, it's like a ticket bonus kind of thing. So, yeah. And Amira, SpongeBob up. SpongeBob 2.0 update. That'd be pretty cool to see, actually. All right, here we go, guys. 240 left. Getting down there. Getting down there. And Sandy's uh, crawling up there. We'll probably get the. I would imagine we get these before the 235's up. So again, guys, take your guess in the comment. How many total tickets do you think I'm gonna? And that's counting points that are added for the tokens over as well as the cards. Remember the cards are 50 each. Ooh, card drop. Aw, oh, man! We may get him, he fell in a good spot. I want Gary though, man, and we need a Gary. Gary, Gary. Oh my God, look, stuck on a pineapple. That's hard to do. Look, you'll see it coming around, guys. The token's just resting on, look at that. That's insanity. You should get like a gajillion tickets for that. That's not easy to do, man. Take some skill. I've got credits. All right. There they are, feeding them out a little hickey there going down. So 190 left. It's been working good. Knock on wood. Even though that's not wood. And we got four more bonus tokens. All right. Oh, man. All right. We're almost at 4,000, because remember, there's 2,000 before it went to this unawarded ticket message. So, man, that's a lot. I think uh, uh, some people may wonder how much I spent. Uh, I, I think it was around like 50 bucks, just a little under 50 bucks for the 999 total credits here. So this game, I'm not, I, I believe it's 50 cents a swipe here at Zone on half day, <clears throat> so, yeah, <laughs> math, yeah, math. All right, we're getting down there, guys. Look, these cards are getting close. I, I have a feeling we're gonna get these. I have a feeling we are gonna get these. Yes, we are. Uh, Gary would be nice. I hope he doesn't come last minute. Then that would be ridiculous. And then we wouldn't have any more credits. And I'm just doing the 9.99 that I put in. There's we got a one there. <clears throat> I'm not adding any more, even if there is a Gary, because I just want to see. I want to experiment and see what I can get with uh, this challenge here, and no other tickets from any other game. So. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. We're getting down there, guys. 128 left. Look at that. Wow, that was a bunch of silvers over. Woo! Even more. Dang. It's just so satisfying when you get like a, a fountain of them over. Oh, it's great. Because you know you're getting an award for them. That's why I like it. I keep saying they need to bring back token action games like Smoke and Token, Big Hall. Just with a vend system like this, that's all. You boom, and it just vends it. Because a lot of arcades don't want to deal with tokens anymore. But if you keep the tokens contained within the game like these are, you can bring back any token action game with a little hopper system like this. So hopefully that'll give these arcade game makers some ideas here. Because I, I think we want to start seeing those again. You know, all these arcades went with card swipers. The token games went the way of the crapper. Let me know if you agree. Oh my god, look, I got it on the pineapple again. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you agree. <clears throat> I think it's an ingenious idea. And honestly, the games like this, you know, are big earners because, you know, especially on a game like Smoke and Token or a game like Big Hall where you are rapid firing like that, you can go through a swipe within a couple seconds. You know, and that's big earnings as far as, like, you know, from an arcade standpoint. So, I don't know. I think it'd be a... I'm hoping to see that in the future from somebody. <clears throat> so... We are down under 100 now, guys. We're going to use these up, let them count. Uh, always stick around after, too. Make sure they all count. 
Because sometimes what you'll get is you'll get some that are like either stuck in there or whatever, and they won't uh, they won't show it until like you, another player plays again. They uh, sometimes it'll cycle them through and they'll get the the token. So make sure you guys wait, just like on a real coin pusher, basically. Just make sure you wait and rapid fire. Oh, oh, I got like two through the pineapple there. That was cool. I've got credits. I don't want credits. Oh, we're almost done now, guys. Oh, look at this. We might get the, uh, the little crab dude, guys. Oh, we got a card drop and pearl cra another crab. I don't want pearl crabs, man. We already got them. Yeah, we, have, we might have everything but a Gary here, to be honest. I'm pretty sure we do, because I know we got a SpongeBob. There was only one of him. We definitely got Patrick. 55 left. Look at this. Oh, baby. <clears throat> so, this is going to be interesting to see what prize we can actually get from this. So, keep in mind, spending just under 50 bucks. I'm not, this isn't obviously no, you know, I'm not trying to like get a prize for more than it's worth or less than it's worth. Or, yeah, you know what I mean. But, that's obviously not the idea here. But it'll be interesting to see what I can get. Zone 28 usually has some good stuff, even for a couple thousand tickets. You can get some really nice stuff here. Then if you really save, they got things like uh, Switches, Nintendo Switch, PS4. I actually want a PS4 and an Xbox One here in, in prior uh, arcade ticket videos that I do. So make sure you guys check those out after this. <clears throat> 25 left, guys. I do have a playlist. All my playlists are listed in the description of this video. So you can go just click on the link and that'll take you to an entire set of videos based on that theme. And still no Gary. Gosh dang it. <laughs> Alright, 17 left guys. We're, we're getting there. We're almost done. So, we'll get uh, Gregoru to swipe his little manager card there. Wow, that's crazy, man. Oh, it's getting loud over here. Nine. Eight. It's like New Year's, guys. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Last one, guys. Oh, it gives me credits. God dang it. <laughs> I don't want credits. All right, last one. And done. Zilch. All right, guys, we're going to let this. Oh, my. Look how close he was to fall. It would have been 50 more. That's all right. And always stick around, too. Because you never know if it falls last minute. You walk away, it'll be sitting in that tray for the next person, so. All right, so here's all our cards. We actually got a really good amount here. Wow, that's a lot. That's a, definitely a lot more cards than I thought there would be. So here's all our cards. And these are 50 a piece. I'm not going to try for an entire set. Just in time. So we're going to redeem those for 50. Greg's going to swipe his little manager card there. So that, so just for quarter, uh, Silver tokens over. 4,709, guys. What do you think, man? Nuts. Shut bang. There they are added. And we're going to go cash them in and see how much total I have and see what prize I get right after this. All right, guys. So our total number of tickets that I won in this video is 6,360 tickets, guys. And that was from uh, silver tokens over and uh, cards, so the 50 each on each card. So 6360, and I was able to get this. I was able to get something really cool, and I'm actually surprised. Check this out. It's freaking Zoltan, man. And he actually moves. Like when you when you hold this button in, he see there's sound, but it's a little hard to hear. But you see his head moving. So he moves. It's like a, it's like a little mint. And it, this thing is heavy too. I don't know if it's like a bank or whatever, but that's, uh, that's really cool. So that was six thousand tickets, guys. I was able to get that for nine hundred ninety-nine credits in SpongeBob. And then to finish up, I got a little Zone Twenty Eight cup, a uh, little green cup there. So whoop, <laughs> if I could show the logo correctly, that would be awesome. So that's gonna do it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a little thumb up a roo. Leave me a bunch of cool comments down below because I just might rip my heart out and put it on your comment. Uh, check out my playlist at the end of this video, guys. They're all in the description. ArcadeMatt.com has some of my stuff for sale as well as merch that I make like keychains and little phone grips and whatnot. So check that out as well. 
and follow me on Twitter and Instagram, arcade underscore mats. And like we always say, thanks for watching.